So for today's video, we will be fixing two troubles. Troubles that are related to our valve control console. I will also give you a little bit of familiarization on this kind of system. You will also see the modification I did in the troubleshooting. So come and join me inside this bilge well. So this vessel is equipped with valve control console. Normally, for the newly built vessel, the system is already incorporated into the control and alarm monitoring system. You will find in this console the ballast tank level gauges, controls for opening and closing your ballast valves, Bilge level alarm indicators, pressure gauges for the suction and discharge of your ballast pump and anti healing pump, and power control for the whole console and for your anti healing system. This system is very important in keeping the stability of the vessel. Especially when there is a heavy rain. And loading of cargo at the same time. In a simple explanation, the vessel must be balanced in port side and starboard side, especially when loading cargoes, which is sometimes during loading of containers, the weight may be shifted into the other side, which makes the vessel listed. And to correct this, the anti-healing system will run automatically and shift the water on the other side. And sometimes, during operation, the hatch cover is open, which the water will go straight to the cargo hold. The longer the hatch is open, the more water will go inside. The water will first be collected to the bilge well. To monitor the water level inside, each bilge well are equipped with level sensors. And the level alarm sensor in the cargo hold number 7 bilge well is not working. That is why I was forced to go inside the bilge well to check the condition of the sensor. As a safety reminder, you need to take all the necessary safety and inform the duty officer about the job that you will be doing. So after removing the sensor, the diaphragm was already choked. 
I tried cleaning it into the workshop, but it didn't work. Unfortunately, we don't have the same type of level sensor. But I managed to find a normally closed float switch. So I tried to install this one while waiting for the spare. So of course, you need to test it first before installing. So after testing, I went back inside the bilge well to install the level sensor. Make sure to tighten everything well so that you will not be having a back job. So now, let's move on to the next troubleshooting. The next trouble is that we've lost the main 220 power for the valve control console. Just like what I have said from my previous troubleshooting, I always start from the source. In this case, I have a source 220 voltage in the main breaker going to the power supply 220. But the power supply unit doesn't have an output of 24 volts. So I have decided to dismantle the power supply and see what is happening inside. I tried cleaning the unit and check each and every component. After changing one rectifier diode, then I tested the unit. The unit had a power, but the output is only 14 volts. That's the maximum that it can produce. Again, there is no available spare on board. But I managed to find a substitute power supply with same specification. And after installing the substitute power supply, the system went back to normal. I then changed all the busted indication lights as it is a port state control deficiency. Again, this system is very important in keeping the vessel stability. It is the system that will manage the draft of your vessel. Depending on how much cargo you have, then you can plan how much water you will be taking in or you will be discharging. That's it guys, I hope you learned something from this video and please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you on my next video.